on me. Promise that you never be lonely. All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome to today's video. So, uh, pretty much, I'm on my way to some business coursework that I need to do. So, uh, yeah, pretty much, I am doing my unit two in business, GCC business. So, I don't know if you guys know about that, but uh, pretty much, uh, yeah, it's uh, you have to kind of interview a small business, and answer a question on a small business. So, I'm currently heading to the small business that I have chosen to that is nearby, and I am going to uh, be conducting my owner interview so yeah uh, pretty much we got that but uh, stay tuned we've got also a chest and try a chest workout i explain why it's only a chest workout um later on in the video so uh yeah i'll see you guys in the next clip okay guys and we are back now home uh, so i'm doing my own interview for my business uh, gcc in school um I'm going to show you guys the meal that I'm just about to have before I go to the gym. So guys, the reason why the meal's on my bed is because the lighting is awful at my desk today. So pretty much, as you can see there, I've got some Nando's Perry mayonnaise, Perinase they call it, uh, some pasta, some garlic bread, some uh, pork sausage. Uh, we also got some chicken there, broccoli and kale, rice, mashed potatoes. So it's quite a big meal. And uh, that is the reason because I am bulking. I have upped my calories to about... See, I would say a kind of 4,000, but I don't really think I'm eating at that right now, guys. So I'm pretty much sure I'm eating about 3,600 to 700, possibly 800, but I don't know. So yeah, that's my meal currently. And uh, after I've this, I'll be setting off to the gym. Okay, guys, so outfit of the day, I've got my pink new Alphalet hoodie. Um, I've never actually bought one of the Alphalet hoodies, but they're really comfy, guys. So I'd highly recommend them. Check them out. I am think a few are still in stock, but... Obviously, I don't work for Alfie or all. Like, I'm sponsored by them, so I would have no idea. But anyway, wearing them. And also got these black uh, joggers with my tanned Vapor Maxes, as you can see there. That was a really awkward way to tilt the camera to show you. But uh, anyway, yeah, that's the outfit for today. And um, yeah, pretty much. Gonna go make some pre-workout, and then we're gonna go gym. Gonna be trying a different pre-workout today, guys. I've got the C4 pre-workout Icy Blue Raz here. So we're gonna put that into my Gymshark shaker right here, and uh, yeah. I'll show you how it goes. Welcome to today's commentary, guys. So basically, today was a chest workout following Ryan Casey's power building split. And uh, pretty much it was only chest today, guys. Normally I do chest and tricep, but uh, the program said do chest and uh, do these four movements, which I'm about to tell you about now. So first movement we did was a bench press, and uh, we did paused reps on it, guys. So pretty much what that means is that... Uh, when you come down, you are pausing for about two to three seconds, and then you're powering back up. Um, there isn't really much else I can tip you guys on other than what I said in the previous video, which if you guys didn't watch that, I'll quickly overview it. So pretty much knuckles facing the roof. Um, tuck your elbows slightly in. Of course, it depends on grip when doing that, so uh, it depends what grip you're preferably using. Obviously, wider bench is a lot harder to do. Uh, narrow bench, more does your tricep, so... Make sure you get a bit in between of narrow and wide. Um, so those three sets of five reps there, uh, paused. And after that, we went to incline bench press with dumbbells. So pretty much it's the same principle here, guys, other than you're in an incline. Uh, your knuckles still face the roof, although you, you do have to tuck your uh, elbows in on this movement. Like That is the proper way to do it. I think in these sets, guys, I kind of went off a bit track with my form, guys, but I think... That's just me trying to get used to the split because I'm still in my week one of following this new workout uh, routine. So pretty much, guys, I'm still kind of developing where's my strengths with these because this is way different compared to the 5-3-1, which I did used to follow. Um, it's a completely different program, guys. I've been doing movements that I normally never do. So, yeah, my shoulders are still sore, actually, from uh, last chest and tricep day. But anyway, moving on from this, it then went to a flat dumbbell bench press, which is the same principle, like I just said earlier. It's literally just flat bench, knuckles to facing the roof. Uh, keep your feet still, guys. This includes for both benches, well, actually all three of them, in, in, incline, decline, and flat. Keep your feet placed on the floor and try not to fidget too much, guys, because um, in my previous history, whenever I fidget with my feet, I end up like losing the momentum and then uh, losing my pattern, my rhythm, and just I end up not being able to do as well as I could have performed if I didn't move my feet, if that makes sense. So I always try to place my feet in the right position before I start the movement, so remember to do that. 
And then after that we did cable flies, which was just a normal cable fly. Normally I do decline, but the program said flies. I watched the little video that comes up with it. By the way, guys, if you want to know what that's if you want to know what that's about, look up an app called Athlete and there's loads of programs on there. I highly recommend it. It's a really good app. It tracks your progress, tracks your workouts. And uh, yeah, I'm following that right now and it's working great for me. So uh, moving on back onto the cable flies. It was a normal uh, cable fly. It wasn't incline or decline and it was for, I think, four sets of 15. I think it was 50, no, four sets of 10. Four sets of 10, guys. And uh, pretty much I was just doing it normal. Now, little tips here, guys, is to try not to have one foot placed back and then one foot placed forward, if that makes sense. I normally used to do that, guys, but I found it's more effective and puts more emphasis on your chest if you put your feet together and do it because that way, um, if you think about it, guys, like when you're in that position, your kind of lunging position, um, obviously one of your chest is more likely got an advantage over the other one, so you're kind of encouraging um, muscle groups to be bigger than the other one, so your left pec minor and pec major to be bigger than your right pec minor pec major, depending on how your stance is. So I'd highly recommend putting your feet together, guys, and uh, doing cable flies like that. Just try it honestly, guys. I'm sure you understand what I mean once you try it. But with that said, I finished the end of the commentary now, guys. I hope you've enjoyed. See you guys in the next one. Okay, guys, so I'm just remaking the last clip to the video you're watching because uh, the clip that I made on the day will not work with my Mac. So pretty much I am re-recording it, just going to explain a few things. So pretty much I am now following Ryan Casey's power building program as uh, it's, had, it's been having some good reviews, guys. If you follow him, you've probably seen on his Instagram stories where he's posted... Uh, People saying, oh, my deadlift's going up. So I thought, hey, you know what? I'm going to try it. So following that currently. And uh, also, quick little uh, update. Bang. I have now got a GoPro, guys. So uh, pretty much video content's going to go massive in the next couple of days or so. I'm going to try and get this in the gym with me to record a few videos because obviously when I don't have a cameraman and going into commercial gym to try and record a video, it's quite hard. But... You never know, this might actually help. It records in 4K and uh, quality is good, guys. Not gonna lie, the quality is decent. So, with that said, now, hope you guys have enjoyed this video and leave a like and also comment what videos you want to see, guys. Do you want to see more challenges? Do you want to see more uh, gameplays? You know, like gaming. I mean, I do a bit of gaming, but I haven't really been doing many gaming videos. So, if you guys want to see more of that, let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, edits are gonna go superb and pretty much. Nothing else really to update you guys on. I'm doing, feeling good, feeling motivated, and ready to kill it with this new program. They'll be saying, oh Lord, here they come. Yeah, here we come. Huh, here we come. <laughs> here we come. Here we come. I used to think that people die because they wicked nowadays People wanna see you dead because you gifted Been ready for my tomb since I came up out the womb So no matter what, I'm coming back and paying you a visit Saw it coming, I predicted, but y'all wouldn't listen